What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're gonna focus on is cutting a razor bob. This is gonna be one of the easiest razor cuts that you've ever done, but you're gonna get a beautiful result. So hope you guys like the video. If you're looking to get a Donald Scott carving comb like the one I use in this video, go to freesaloneducation.com, pick one up for yourself. It's only $39. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get into the video. What's up guys welcome to the video so we're just going to get right into the sectioning today we're going to be cutting a razor bob haircut i take a left hand side parting and then i go to the division point uh, basically from high crown down to behind the ear and then i take a nice vertical panel out of the center back and what i do is i make sure i take the width of the carving comb out so i want to work just with the width of the carving comb that makes the most sense and i go in and i do a medium stroke with the razor now what the medium stroke does is it creates more of a graduated feel i bring everything back to me and i cut myself a nice straight line it's obviously shattered because we're doing medium strokes with the razor we're going to go in and cut that with a scissor at the very end so the medium stroke gives me a graduated feel. If I did a heavier stroke, a longer stroke, what that's gonna do is give me more of a layered feel, and then a quicker stroke is going to give me more of a blunt line. So that's kinda how the razor works. Then what I do is I take my side panels down, and I just carve from the beginning point of that back graduation to the front, and I decide what line I wanna create. Now I go in with the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools uh, blow dryer and the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear uh, memory shaper product. It's, it's a nice light hold gel. Anytime I'm smoothing out the hair, I like to use a nice light hold gel for that. So I work that product scalp to ends, uh, and then I start to work my flat wrap blow dry. So what a flat wrap is, it's basically using the head shape to create a nice smooth surface. So I follow the head shape with the brush around. Um, I keep the nozzle of the blow dryer facing down the shaft of the hair to keep the hair nice and shiny and smooth. Then I go in with my Ergo round brush, and I just give it a little bit of volume. Now, with this bob, what I wanted to do is create a nice voluminous bob, I guess you could say. So I go in uh, with the round brush, get a little bit of height at the base, and then I actually use a smoothing iron on the ends just to straighten them out a bit. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go through and refine the edges. Now, with the carving comb, uh, using those bulkier sections, more condensed sections, you're gonna have some of that hair kind of hanging at the bottom. So I just go in, refine the shape, then I go in with my Matt Beck scissor. <laughs> so if you want that scissor, go to freesaloneducation.com. Um, I use the scissor, just the tip of the blade, to, to go through and refine the edge even more to get a nice blunt look to the bob. So this is gonna be a nice free kind of movement texture to the bob, but then I go through with the scissor to refine it and to finalize the look. Here is the final look, guys. I hope you like it. Um, let me know on social media. Find me everything at Free Salon Education. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you like this video, then make sure you hit that like button below. Share this video with all of your hairdresser friends, and I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching.